Hello everybody, Good Buddy Q here with Lubo. And here we are with two young men venture into the forest and have a surprising experience. Also Otherwise, nose is Timvitya Hazik. Not gonna lie though, when I first looked at the title screen all colored colored in, I thought that Germany there was wearing Sailor Moon's colors because I thought the book was a bow. Oh no, <laughs> it's a book. But yes, this is a entry that me and Blue Lobsters made for the um, Italian game jam, the Pick Your Poison, which started in October and went into December. So we had a bit more than a month. I love this intro music. I just want to get that out there. Mm -hmm. This is so nice and pleasant. That was Blue's idea, yeah. Uh, and Ash did the art for it. So they were less uh, story-based and more art-based, but still it was wonderful. They did You did the... Uh, they did the face sets, the screenshots, this, of course. I did the sprites. Um, Blue Officers did the mapping. It's real good. It's really good. But yes, as you can tell, this is very fairy tale esque and has our good bros over there. And you put in a mandate that you needed to let's play this, which is good because Blue Lobster specifically asked you to play this. He did? Yeah, they did. Oh, golly, why? They like your stuff. Oh, thank you, Blue Lobster. <laughs> also, just a warning you may hear the cat meowing in the background. It's most likely nine out of ten times because they're looking at a bird. Or a squirrel is outside and he wants to murder it. Yeah, so if you hear meow, that's what, that's the cat. It's John Doom doing John Doom things. Well, Henny. Henny. That's his nickname. It's Hen Hendrik John Doom. There's a hyphen. And then, you know, your last name. Yes. Anyway, let's let's get into this. Two young men venture into the forest and I just to go. Has <laughs> Ni chi. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh dear, don't get attacked by any trees. They're vicious in this part of the woods. But that's not gonna be too hard for you, is it? Shut up. You probably bumped into it because you're not watching where you're going. Obviously. Can't you read that book later? Excuse me for wanting to be prepared for this excursion. Come on, it can't be that hard to welcome somebody. You heard the mayor. We have to establish friendly relations with him. He's apparently from the kingdom of Nihon. It's culturally very different from home. I want to read as much as I can about it in order to know how to approach him. Well, I doubt we'll need to know his entire national background to say hello. Considering very few people have seen him and he's a mysterious recluse that has lived in the woods for at least a month with no human contact, I'd assume that there's a benefit of knowing a bit about his culture and language. Well, I can't argue with that, Mr. Cultural Ambassador. <sighs> oh, ha, oh, hi oh, ha, oh, hi Watch the tree! Yoro, yoro, uh, yoro shiku? Maybe you should greet him in our language instead. You don't want to wind up calling his mother a whore when you meet to ask what his favorite color is. Shut up! Ugh, I don't even know why I brought you along for this. Yeah. You're just going to try <laughs> to be a smart ass the whole time! It's because I'm the fun one. You'd probably bored this dude to death if I didn't come along. Also, I'm better at leaving the breadcrumb trays. You always make the crumbs too small, and then we can't see them, and wind up getting lost. That was one time, and I was eleven. Why yes. don't you let it go? Because we were driven into the woods, because our parents couldn't feed us. Because then we had to sleep in a cave, and I got woke up covered in guano. Also, that... Uh, I'm over here. What? Also... Little kids get lost in this forest all the time and never return. At least, that's what old man Ermingild said to me, told me back then. And you're the little baby. You're... And you're going to get lost. You... Can I talk? You're the little baby man. Yes, go. Are you done? Little baby man. Ba Damn it. <laughs> 
You'll believe anything, even if it's an old wives' tale. And you would believe anything if it was printed on a page. Oh. Funny as you say that, considering how gullible you can be. Remember that time I convinced you that you turned invisible? I'm an adult now. I don't believe stupid shit as easily as you do. Now, come on. According to this, we should almost be there. There's our lads. Gilbert and Ludwig. Normal and normal. Ish. We're normal enough. We're normal enough. Enough. Ew. I'm guessing this is the place. I doubt there would be anyone else living out here. <clears throat> Hello? Hi! We're here from the village of Vorklakirsch. Ah! Ow! Why'd you elbow me? I'm doing the introduction. Uh, You're not exactly the best at making first impressions. Excuse you! Excuse you. <coughs> we are here to welcome you to the village. As this force falls within its jurisdiction, uh, we would also like to speak with you, if you would allow. Oh no, he's cute. Hi! Lean to push him out of the way. I, 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 I. You are from the village, you say? <laughs> yeah, Peroni. Ah, shut up! Hajibi Mashte, what does she want? Urude des. Yorushkuru onigaishimas. What is this moon speak? よろしくお願いします。僕の名前はキコです。はじめまして。え、え、あ、なんか。パフさ。はじめましや。ギルバディス。ブロダイズ。はじめまして。ガッドブレスユ。イワズノットエクスペクティングゲストス。インディーディス
getting invited in. Enter lunch. Oh, must be He's my lucky curious host. Must be my lucky day. Don't get any ideas. Well, you don't get any ideas. You don't get any I ideas. I saw him first. No, sh sh shut up. <laughs> so, this was unexpected. What do you mean? Uh, are, are you blind? Well, you did walk into a few trees. I wouldn't blame you if you went blind, but, um, he's... He's... <laughs> Gesturing at all the walls of chocolate? Uh, never mind. Okay... <gasps> Food. Mm. I hope these are to your liking. I have been reading some cookbooks from this country, so I decided to prepare something. I suppose it's a good thing I did. What a coincidence that you gentlemen came to visit. You will be able to tell me if I made it correctly. Das ist wunderbar! Oh, oh, really? This is the best chocolate cream tort I've ever had, seriously! The cream is whipped to perfection. The almond garnish is all awfully done, and the inside is nice and moist. Thank you very much, Ludwig. What do you think of it, Gilbert? Yeah, yeah, a hand job. Well, uh, I would try some, but um, it's got nuts in it. Last time I ate nuts, and nuts the fun kind, I broke out in hives, puked all over the counter, town crier, and then passed out. It's actually a really funny story, because I was... You certainly have a lot of baking skill, ah. Kiku. And my Oma was a pastry chef, so that's really saying something. You know, she was also my Oma. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on now, he's just being silly. I'm fretted, really. Uh, how did you get the texture of this cream to be so fluffy? All and where right. did you get your cocoa powder from? It's incredibly rich. Alright, alright, wrap it up. Ah, Bruder, can we come to talk about things related to village operations, not the exchange of cake recipes? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, right. You're, you're, you're right. Wrap it up, lover boy. Oh, it's, yes, it's... this cream is so heavenly. This, this oh, cake no. is so soft. It must be like your cake. Much dump truck cake. Ooh-wee. Oh, no. Me trying to compliment someone who makes a cake from our region. Truly, I am the worst. But if you... Mr. If... Steal my book. I just want to take your, your take you the initiative like you uh -huh, did. Uh -huh. To learn their language uh -huh. and understand them. <laughs> because... <laughs> I, I'm not going to. If I'm going to brown nose as hard as you are, I'm Gilbert, not going to use Gilbert. that cake. It's okay, Gilbert. Oh, you two are so funny. Uh, Do you have any siblings? Me? Yes. Uh. Oh, that's for later. What was it you wanted me to talk about? Now that you've moved on, moved into the village of Vorkakirsh and the surrounding jurisdiction is the Gahamsafai Forest, Gahamsafur, we have some information that may be of use to you. Ah! Nani? Nani, I think we should go over public ordinances section D through I, as A through C technically only apply to the actual residents of the village. Uh. uh. Let's see. Selection D, subsection 1. No resident of Vovacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacacac
shall not undergo structural change unless the entire Council of Public Affairs decides to proceed with structural changes following a majority vote. Hey, Kiku, your name is Kiku, right? Uh, I. You want to make some paper airplanes on the police? Yeah. You want to make some paper airplanes? He pulls one out of the middle of the stack. Hey! Ah! No fooling around! You're the one who wanted to get down to serious business. Now act like it, Bruda. You know what? Pushes up. I'm gonna go get some fresh air while you go over that paperwork. Get, get your rocks off. Do your thing. I hope you don't mind. Salute. Out he goes. Leaving. That was awkward. And dumb. And awkward. More dumb. Eh. Let's go outside. And on the way, he stole the book out from under the table. <laughs> and he's like... Kony Bird. Cats up. Hey there, buddy. What you got there? <gasps> what? Hey, that's not for you. I laid out those breadcrumbs for us to find our way back. <laughs> ah, you. What the hell did you do that for, you dumb bird? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean that. Please. <laughs> ah! No, you're not a dumb bird. You're supposed to be a common sense. And he's gone. Great. Perfect. <clears throat> Couldn't have been a little smoother again? While he was eating the breadcrumbs, Gil? Doesn't mean you had to yell at him like that, Gil! Anywho, I love how he, we don't even address the fact that he was arguing with himself. It's just Gilbert things. It's just Gilbert things. We should probably head back inside. Hopefully they're done by now. Maybe I could sneak another paper airplane. <laughs> oh no, I hear the sound of chuckling. He's back. Oh god, now what? Thereafter, request for removal or relocation may be filed and may take from 10 to, biz t 10 to 20 business days to process. Any claims made... The past statute of limitations will be ineligible for consideration. I see your hand going off there mocking me, Gilbert. Please stop. I'm trying to concentrate. Limitations will be ineligible for concentration unless prior written documentation regarding the issue is presented to the council before statute limitations reach. Therein, the council will decide if the claim has legitimacy and is in within a re reasonable time frame of the incident occurring. Kiku just sees Gilbert perfectly lip syncing to this while making like wriggling motions like eh? Are you okay? I find this terribly boring. Oh good, I'm not the only one. Any questions? Hey! Not you! Yeah? Not you! I do. Uh, about section H, subsection 1, would a golden gnome be considered acceptable despite being over the required... Oh, don't worry about that kind of crap. As long as you don't step on the grass at the park and don't fire yourself from a cannon on your second story window and crash into the church... <clears throat> yeah, you'll be fine! Trust me, especially on that second part. Oh yeah, he knows from experience. I had some crazy teenage days. <laughs> yeah. I. Well, I if you say so. <laughs> Don't let all this overwhelm you. Volkerkirch is a very welcoming and friendly place. It's so welcoming and friendly that he can't even pronounce it. Shut up. You know I have a condition. That condition is dorky. That condition is words. You know it, Gilbert. Stop it. Yes, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Are you nervous chuckling because this is uncomfortable? No, your bickering is just hilarious. So, now that that's over. Finally. Oh, no. Uh, My cake. Like you were going to eat it anyway. But you ruined the bottom of his plate. What if you broke it? I'm going to need you to sign here. Yes, amid all of the splattered chocolate I cream pushed you, it away. you love so much. I stuck it on her. Nice table manners. 
in the sign here, initialed here, to indicate that you read the special clause on section E, subsection 7. Sign here as well, then flips a the page and sign on the back. Oh my god! Drop! <laughs> it just flops over on the pillow. Oh wow, this is comfy. Oh, thank you. I made this kotatsu myself. Well, the blanket for it, I mean. Oh, wait. Is that why it's warm? Oh yes, it's heated. Oh my god, it just slithers until just this hairline is visible. You hear the soft... Mm. Oh, it's cold. Oh. It's so cozy, bro! Yes, cozy. Okay, and then... A sign to... No, not to here. Bruno! Such pen is going to run out of ink by the time he gets to the NDA. Why do you have an NDA? In NDA? Why do you have an NDA? Don't worry. I brought some more pens with me. Uh -huh. Okay, seriously, why do we have an NDA? That's what the mayor told me to bring. Don't ask me, ask him. I will. <laughs> Roderick's gonna hear from this. Or hear from me when I come back. Anyways, while he's signing that, and here, and there, he wriggles up until his head is poking up from another kotatsu. As it turns out, my our breadcrumbs got eaten by my birdie. They did. I suppose we'll need to use his navigation to get ourselves back to the village. Oh yes, my GPS bird. And signs there. Watch the breadcrumbs. About that. I also had a falling out with him in which I said some regrettable things. And now he's gone. And I don't know when he's coming back. Oh. Well, I had a feeling something like this might happen. <laughs> this part requires a thumbprint. Are we getting he Are we doing a background check on him with the NDA? I have a mental note of the landmarks around the woods, as well as the tree formation, so we should be able to get back based on those. Wait, so I wasted all those breadcrumbs for nothing? Oh, I thought spreading those crumbs would make you happy. There's no logical reason for any person over the age of 12 to use breadcrumbs for actual navigation. Were you convinced they made a difference? A biodegradable brooder? Do you even care about the environment? God! <sighs> now get under this kotetsu! Anyways. Reaches over, pulls him by out by his leader hose, and ah! Don't do that. They ride up. We need to get going, Kiku. It was very nice to meet you. I hope that you will be okay with us returning for a visit sometime. Slide. <laughs> yeah. Um. If I've if I've got my way, I'll be coming back real soon. Maybe next time, I could bring you one of my treats instead. Ooh. Mine is the nuts. Unless you want the nuts, in which case we'll see you later. Indeed, it is getting late. You both should go home and get some rest. <laughs> and I will be sure to make some sweets without nuts for you next time you come over, Gilbert. <sighs> <sighs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll be nudges away. <laughs> says you little. We'll be looking forward to it. Yes, Chris, <clears throat> we will. We sure will. We shall... <laughs> Please be safe. The woods are tricky around this time. Let's gig on. Ah, uh, well, leads away, old landmark finder. Lots of screaming. What are you doing? There's something screaming. I've, I've, I'm trying to communicate in its natural language. I would think that you would understand this wholeheartedly, Bruda. By yelling at things in the woods. You try it. It's fun. No. <laughs> You're just making us more of a tar a target. A target for what? Are you scared of the woods? <coughs> Ouch. Ouchie. Be more careful. 
You don't want to fall into a bunch of poison ivy like you did last time we went out this far. Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Walking Into Trees. Shut up. Hey, tree smacker, it's too dark out here. I can't see a damn thing. I think you're just being careless. Wait, I think you're just being nitpicky. Ha ha! Ha ha! It's point. Oh no, you just better get quick up quickly or else you're going to have to get peed on. V what? Wait, well, that's how you cure poison ivy rash, right? You piss on it? No. That explains a lot. Well, anyway, which way do we go from here? Um. Oh, hell, Landfinder. Uh, there's a bridge on the river up there. Let's try going that way. All right. I'm trusting you. Mm-hmm. Ah! Bah! Uh. Ah! Now I'm starting to see what you meant by landmarks. This place seems really... familiar. Odd. Pointed stare. We just traveled south towards where the village is, and somehow it brought us back here. Well, guess what wouldn't have? The breadcrumbs. Blah, 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 blah. You're lost. Admit it. I'm not lost, damn it! Back so soon? <gasps> yes, I mean, well... It seems we may have gotten disoriented trying to find a way back. Boom! Ah! Ah! Oh dear, it's gotten dark rather quickly. It's so odd. I suppose the forest is so dense that slight, even slight changes in light will cause everything to be extremely dark. Pardon me if this seems commanding, but I suggest you both stay the night here. Even living in these woods for the short time I have, I have learned how dangerous it gets at night. Sparkles! Especially for those who don't know how to navigate them. We, we don't want to overstay our welcome. <laughs> I would Elbowed. be honored. I insist. I would never want the two of my guests to be mauled by some kind of beast as soon as they leave my house. Is that beast you? Because I might want to get mauled. Shut up. Ah! <laughs> Elbow back. Ah! Beast? <laughs> there are many wild animals around here. Several of them are very, very dangerous, and they are especially ravenous and hard to run from at night. Well, I, I suppose it makes sense to stay. You better not fuck this up for me. Now, <clears throat> we'll be staying the full night? It's not like we can navigate when it's so dark out. And like Kiku said, there are dangerous creatures that roam the forest at night. I will go make preparations in my guest room for you both. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, so Mr. Navigation is only able, unable to find his way through the dark. Maybe I'll just stay with Kiku Zen, and you can find your way back home. Oh, absolutely fucking not. I don't want to be alone out here, one. And two, I want a shot too. Fuck you. Fuck you! Then stop acting like a damn child! You've been embarrassing me all day. And just take the offer and stop being stupid about it. Wow. See the door straight ahead? Guest rooms are over this way. Rude. Though this is where we should probably stop. <laughs> so we get to stay the night. Here. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky or enticing? Yeah. An edge of danger always adds a little bit of spice to things. You can't see it, but Ludwig's rolling his eyes like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're just jealous. Uh-huh. Because he thinks my antics are so fun. Mm-hmm. And he also thinks your paperwork is boring. But to be fair, they're not my paperwork. They're the mayor's paperwork. Seriously. I'm just a delivery boy. Seriously, what was with that NDA and the thumbprint? Uh, I'm not the one who makes the rules here. Well, you could be. If you ran for mayor like I asked you to or suggested I'm you to. I'm not ready for that yet. We know this. 
Oh, what? You're going to wait for that for that lawyer's degree that's never happening? I'm working on it. You failed the bar exam three times now. I'm working on it. Didn't help if someone didn't keep me up the night of the exam with their partying. I was in the room. I, I wasn't even in the same house. I was in another uh, house across the street. Yeah, and I could hear it from there. Then why didn't you get those use those earplugs I left you? I did. That didn't work either. Well, you shouldn't have been cramming the night before anyway. I cram every night. But yeah, we need to get going. So have a good day, everybody. Mm, bye. <laughs> Just fighting in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Guest rooms at the... He opens door. Are you two coming? Oh, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> they both glare at each other. <laughs>